Compared to its main competitors, this model is still quite young, but has already gained great popularity among domestic motorists. What does she bribe them with and what condition are her used copies in? Unlike its predecessor, the Fiat Fiorino, built on the basis of the Uno subcompact, the Doblo is an independent model. A car with an Italian surname is produced at the Turkish Tofas plant. After five years from the start of production, the creators subjected Doblo to restyling, during which they mainly retouched the face, making it more expressive. It is in this form that it is produced to this day. By the way, the post-styling version was awarded the honorary title of International Van 2006. Pyrushawk is represented by four modifications, cargo with a standard wheelbase, cargo and extended by 40 centimeters, maxi, cargo passenger, combi, passenger, panorama and family, the most spacious seven-seater version with a removable third row of seats, as well as all-wheel drive all-terrain, adventure. Trucks are designed exclusively for commercial purposes, transportation of goods, so their equipment is the poorest. The front passenger compartment of these vehicles is separated from the cargo by a metal partition. These versions are equipped with rear hinge doors, but the sliding side door is a separate option and, as a rule, it is installed on the right side. They have a minimum of glazing, def can even be the rear vest. Among the Doblos imported from abroad, there are often instances converted from trucks, which clever businessmen pass off as passenger versions. The fact is that customs clearance of trucks is cheaper, and they are sold at the price of more expensive modifications. It is easy to identify a fake by the VIN number of the body. Passenger and freight versions are distinguished by the presence of side windows and glass in the rear hinge doors. The rear of the cabin is sheathed and equipped with a second row of seats, and the trunk is separated by a metal grille. These modifications are equipped and finished much more modestly than the expensive passenger panorama and family. By the way, only these two versions are equipped with a rear one-piece lifting door, and there are sliding side doors on both the right and left sides. On pleasant little things there are no complaints about Doblo's corrosion resistance, the metal of the body is double-sided galvanized. On cargo versions with mechanical windows, sometimes due to inaccurate operation, plastic glass opening handles break, and also with a run of under 150,000 kilometers, the ignition slash door opening key wears out from frequent use, there is no remote control for the central lock in many trucks. Some owners complain that with a small steering angle from the center, about 200, the corresponding turn signal cannot be turned off. According to experts, this is not a malfunction. This is a feature of the operation of the steering column switches. There are no other characteristic weaknesses in the equipment of the Doblo Salon. The interior design is original and even today does not look outdated. During restyling, only the color of the dashboard and interior upholstery materials changed inside, and the doors received solid cards. Thanks to the large glass area, the expensive panorama and family versions are distinguished by excellent visibility. In versions with rear hinge doors, good visibility to the rear is facilitated by their asymmetrical division. The line of power units designed for Doblo is very diverse. Most often, we have diesel versions, although it is easy to find gasoline modifications among post-styling cars. According to experts, the engine life of Doblo engines is about 300,000 kilometers. Since the pies are mostly purchased for commercial purposes, they roll a decent mileage, the average annual mileage can be 20 to 60,000 kilometers. When buying a car older than five years, you should be prepared that the engine will soon need a major overhaul, and this is not a cheap pleasure, especially for turbo diesels, 13,000 UAH. Work in parts. Therefore, in the secondary market, it is desirable to purchase fresher copies. Motors do not have serious shortcomings. Of the characteristic problems, it should be noted problems with the air pressure sensor in the intake manifold of the 1.6 liter unit. Although in most cases the malfunction is eliminated by simply cleaning the sensor. In the same motor, individual ignition coils often fly out. There are usually two reasons, untimely replacement of spark plugs and the use of candles with an inappropriate glow number. Multi-jet turbo diesels equipped with the common rail system are sensitive to the quality of diesel fuel. In this case, as a rule, EGR valves suffer. In order to avoid problems, menders advise cleaning them every 50,000 kilometers. Experts also recall cases of breakage of plastic radiator mounting brackets. In this case, its body begins to fray the rubber pipes of the cooling system. Fasteners usually break due to sharp impacts when hit in deep holes. 
In most engines, the timing is driven by a belt, which requires replacement along with rollers every 60,000 kilometers. But the pump, driven by the same belt, is able to go out for two periods of its service. At the same time, after 60,000 kilometers, on all turbo diesel units, with the exception of 1.3 liters and 1.4 liter gasoline, it is necessary to check and, if necessary, adjust the thermal clearances of the valves, work, 470 UAH. Only in the 1.3 liter turbo diesel, the timing is equipped with a metal chain. Its service life is approximately 150,000 kilometers, after which it must be replaced along with the damper, tensioner, gears, etc. There are no problems all Doblos have front axle drive and are equipped exclusively with mechanical gearboxes. In principle, in the arsenal of the model there is also an all-wheel drive version of the adventure, but it is rare. MCP has proven to be quite reliable. Unless, with frequent driving at high speeds, the oil seal of the gearshift stage begins to sweat with oil, but this does not lead to a serious oil leak. The maintenance of the mechanics consists in changing the oil every 90,000 kilometers. According to Doblo owners, its chassis is quite tough, mainly due to the rear semi-independent suspension equipped with springs. At the same time, thanks to these hardy damping elements, the Pi has a high load capacity of 710 kilograms, exceeding that of most competitors. An independent design is used in front, McPherson with an anti-roll bar. At the rear, the stabilizer was installed only on the expensive Panorama and family versions. The rear shock absorbers wear out the fastest, and with frequent overloads, they can already leak by 60,000 km, spring bushings are able to go out for about 90,000 km, and their silent blocks are a little longer, up to 120,000 km. According to car service specialists, there are no serious shortcomings in the motors. All of them roll a decent mileage. The steering on all versions is equipped with hydraulic booster. With age, on machines of the first years of production, the booster pump may lose tightness. Although at specialized service stations they are able to return it to working capacity. But the tie rod ends have a good resource, about 100,000 kilometers. The brake system and the parking brake drive do not cause any special remarks either. When replacing the front pads, it is necessary to lubricate the caliper guides, otherwise they begin to wedge, contributing to accelerated brake wear. The Fiat Doblo is a great business and leisure companion. It compares favorably with its competitors by its high carrying capacity, 710 kilograms, and the largest capacity, the family version allows you to carry seven people. In addition, as domestic operating experience has shown, these pies are quite reliable. When buying a used Doblo, it is advisable to pay attention to more fresh versions. It is better not to consider old and imported specimens from abroad. As a rule, they all dashed off a large mileage and the resource of their main components and assemblies is running out. As a result, the entire burden of financial problems to restore the car's performance will fall on the shoulders of the buyer, who decided to save money on buying a car.